back on the road. Officially day two of whatever it is that we're doing. Nico circuit was yesterday. The beat suit is going to be today. We're doing a half day in the beat suit. It's like a two and a half to three hour drive out there. Then we're staying at this camping place that we stayed at last time. I don't remember much of that because I got real wasted and passed out in the bathroom and locked myself in there. That was about a fun time. Anyway, squirted myself in the eye with the bidet. Uh, got to chill out on deck. Ready to, uh, ready to go. June's not taking the R33, which is a bummer, but I would not want to drive that thing all the way out there either, so can't say I blame him there. Mikey's in the van, he's feeling a little heat stroke, so June 2 is driving Mikey Z. Let Mikey recuperate a little bit. I'm sure the jet lag mixed with everything else and all the emotions of actually being at a track in Japan hit him pretty hard uh, on top of the very much lack of sleep that all of us have been having. Uh, but yeah, so we are officially on the road. It's like 9 a.m. Hopefully we'll get there around 1, eat some lunch, and then do some skits until it gets dark, which will be sick, because I love the base here. And I don't know where we're going to be driving today, but we're going to be driving somewhere. So hopefully no issues on the way there. I'm hoping we're going to get to... Uh, hoping we're going to get to bleed the e-brake at some point because I do not want to break any more front wheels because I have no ejecto but no because that's okay. Onwards to ABC. Well, onwards to this gas station first. Forgot. Kind of need that. We've got the flying V configuration to fill these things up since we're doing two cars at a time. It works out pretty well and we're not taking up a bunch of other pumps. So that's cool. Look at that dead mouse. Dead, dead cat, that's my little pussy cat. Yeah, it's a dead mouse. Yeah. Dead cats are bigger. Yes, yeah. There it is. Shh. Hacks. Look at the muscle showing. I know, look at this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full on Yakuza mode. <laughs> Cruising along about an hour and a half in. Doing 130 kilometers an hour in a Z. It's loud and annoying sounding. And while doing 130 kilometers an hour in a Z is not music to the ears, the rest of the scenery, however, is music to the eyes. Japan is an absolutely beautiful country, and even though my ears are getting blasted by 350Z sounds, I'm soaking it all in. We're on our way to Ibisu, and we're taking the scenic route, and I absolutely love every moment. Just look at it. On top of that, the combination of Giga Tech, Fortunato, Kansai wheels, and Bellino tires is absolutely stunning. Not just on the track, but driving back and forth between all these places. So we put a ton of miles on just driving back and forth to Nico. Now we're doing a four hour road trip to Mitsu. And Although the seat is very tight and uncomfortable because it's made for a tiny Japanese person. Uh, the rest of the ride is absolutely fantastic. We kind of had these valve for mostly track use, but still not to be insanely crazy for street driving. So big shout out to Fortune for making that happen and making these things actually comfortable to ride in all the way out to and from where we're going from. So all it has to do is survive two days in Ibisu, maybe three, depending on if we can sneak in or not, and uh, make it all the way back to Tokyo. So we've also got the Grip Royal wheels that Scott made us up, custom Suica circuit ones, uh, in the custom yellow. Big shout out to Scott for making that happen. And these, these wheels and cars are gonna stay out here in Japan, so hopefully we could be driving these a little bit more often. Just kind of trying to prove that the Z is the way. Although they are ugly and they sound like a bag of hammered whatevers, uh, they are the way. They have just enough horsepower to get stuff done. You can drive, you can pack them full of stuff, and you can go have a blast with your boys on the cheap. 
could have bought a JZX, could have bought an S chassis, could have bought 150 other different cars here, but we did We chose these. Why? There were four Zs at that drift event at Nico. That's it. Out of, I think he said 100 cars were there, four of them were Zs, which is insane because you go to an event in the US and it's 90% Zs. So the Japanese haven't caught on to the fact that these could be radical chassis and you can do fun stuff in them on the cheap. Probably because they have way cooler cars here than we, we do, but that's okay. We're trying to spread the good gospel of the Z. There's a lot of choices for coffee. And I chose that one. And now that's it getting made inside the machine via technology. Look at that. Yeah, no, I can see my cup. It's right there. See, that's how you know where it is, because it is where it is. But uh, in Daiko field, and it been, this better must in the summertime, the fail the cup. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to see it fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, cup is gone. You know, they're like, no, it's not. And you're like, yes, it is. <laughs> it's stuck. That's funny. Look at all those choices, though. You have so many options. This song is a real bummer. No, this song is from Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Oh, there it goes. Zoomed in. Wow, there's so many cameras in here. That has more GoPros than I do. Look at it. There it is, somewhere. I just dropped shit. Wow. <laughs> and it lights up. <laughs> Look at that beautiful thing. It lady. lights up? Yeah. It's got a beam of light shining down upon it. And in came the rain. Nothing like driving a drift car through torrential downpour on the wrong side of the road with maybe probably not okay tires that we drifted on all day yesterday. <laughs> the adventure continues. Just dropped in off the toll road and he quaint 5,000 yen to get here. And we are dipping down into the area to get to Bisu, which is on a mountainside. It's owned by Kumakubo from Team Orange back in the day. We're gonna meet up with some of the Aussies' friends there. Apparently they've set up base around North Course, which is pretty sick. I don't know what we're gonna be driving today, but it should be pretty fun. Five kilometers to Bisu Circle. Not bad. Here we are, rolling up. And there it is. That ever famous thing, and Zach's already here just waiting. Shaba! We made it! Whoa! Whoa. Send your money, dude. That's what oh, I'm doing sorry, right sorry, now. sorry. Doing business, business, business transactions. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Well, gotta do some business in a BC. Hey, yo, is that where we are? Oh my so, god. And yeah. Safari Park. Yeah. Animal ah. torture. Ah. We just paid five thousand. We're going in. Wave to the nice ladies. Arigato! And uh, we've got our Ibiza run tickets and our number, whoever, what's it's. And now we're gonna get lost because this place is a maze. Ing, get it? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what any of that says, even though it has English on it. Can't read English either. This is a steep hill. I mean, last time I was here, I was uh, changing a transmission with a forklift. So hopefully we have a better day than that. And it looks like we're headed up to North Course first. Nishi was actually closed at one. We just barely missed it, which is a huge bummer. That's all right. We just road tripped drift cars to a Bisu. Kidding. I'm gonna face my car this way so I don't have to look at the sad animals. Little, uh, little trackside ramen before we head out. Do some skids. Mike is still in full recovery mode and some vegetable soup. Everybody else seems to be in good spirits on day 64 of this trip. <laughs> John didn't order spaghetti. Who would have thought? Disappointed. 
Zach's ex girlfriend did though. There it is. How is it? Is it good? Oh, I haven't. She stuck it behind her laptop and didn't eat it. Wait, are you gonna eat it with chopsticks or a fork? Can you eat? Please eat it with chopsticks. Yeah. Nice. Wait, I'm your noodles. I am eating them, but it doesn't have spaghetti sauce on it, so it's not funny. It still is pasta, Dan. Yeah, but it's not spaghetti pasta. I'm not mad. I'm just a little disappointed. <laughs> Get to do a little off-roading right here. Up this steep... Oh, I am going to scrape like a motherless goat. Oh, my God. Put this thing into four low to get up this hill. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like driving out to Grange. What's up? Trip car graveyard, storage, whatever. Trying to avoid the potholes at all costs. It's a good thing these guys know where they're going because I would not have remembered. Oh yeah, I forgot about this tunnel with the really steep thing on the other side. Oof! Oof! A lot of scraping. And here we are at North. Here we are. At Ibisu, in a Z, with Ibisu tires. It just works. Where's your fucking? You need to. I don't have it, mate. Ah, this. It's floppy. This. You happy with that? Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Clutch kicks. <laughs> Zero. We got a little bit of groceries. I don't think we're gonna survive the night. No possible way. Um, not gonna happen. Absolutely no chance of us making it through this evening. But, ah, yeah. You guys are definitely not gonna survive either. There's absolutely no way. Have we got enough alcohol on me? No. We will not survive this night. So, if anybody's in Japan, come help. We'll need, you guys want some mochi? This is the accommodations. It's not bad. It's spacious. We've got room for nine. We're cooking. We're eating. We've got a smorgasbord. Booty quail eggs, Salads, figs, microwave foods for days, sparkling waters, some fish, beers. Beer. John ate some fish rice. Fish rice. Heater, master sweet. I just zoomed in on John's dick. Oops. <laughs> what about food? 